A year later, as American forces fought their way across the Pacific in a series of Bloody Island invasions, naval intelligence on Pearl Harbor decoded a Japanese message that said Admiral Yamamoto planned to inspect some of his remaining island bases. Admiral Nimitz realized that Yamamoto's trip would take him close enough so that Army P-38 Lightnings based on Guadalcanal might be able to intercept his airplane and shoot it down, possibly shortening the war and greatly reducing casualties. News of the day. Days earlier, an alert radio operator intercepts the secret message listing Yamamoto's flight schedule to the Bougainville airfield 435 miles north of Guadalcanal. The code cracked. Major John Mitchell plans the daring mission. He has to have these men over Bougainville at the precise moment Yamamoto is to arrive. Mitchell knows that the Admiral is a very punctual man. Since timing is very critical, he will navigate only by compass and clock. No one knows how many fighters will be waiting for them. Sure. You'd be nervous, too. Early on the morning of April 18, 1943, a squadron of P-38s took off from Guadalcanal and flew 425 miles, hugging the wave tops. The odds of intercepting Yamamoto's airplane were exceedingly small. Pilot Thomas Lanfear tells what happened next. The uh, two Zeros that I'd flown between had turned around, were coming back over here, and the bomber's going here, and I, I'm going so fast by the time I get op opposite him that I had to drop my flaps to slow up, and I started skidding sideways so that I wouldn't overshoot him. And meanwhile, these two fellows are coming, and I could... F <laughs> it was obvious there was going to be a convention. <laughs> and I assumed that they would ram me or do whatever they could. I had already fired my guns at the lead zero up above, but I just wanted to be sure, so I started clearing my gun at an angle just about like this. And I'll be damned if his right end didn't start to burn long before I thought I was anywhere near in range. I figured as I went behind him, he'd get me with his tail gun, but just before I passed behind him, his wing popped off and he bellied into the jungle. Yes, the Supreme Japanese Naval Commander, Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, mastermind of the dastardly sneak attack on Pearl Harbor, gunned from the skies of the South Pacific by these Army Air Corps flyers. When we heard that Admiral Yamamoto had been shot down, we all felt that we had lost our pillar. We felt sadness and at the same time anxiety. Who was to lead us now? He died uh, on the 16th of April. They found his body the next day, thrown out of the airplane. Had his sword, he was a samurai. His father was a samurai. Had his sword in his hand. They took his body and reduced it to ashes, took it back to Tokyo, and a month later, they announced his death. I think something like two million people turned out for the funeral. 